Connecticut's flagship schooner in the spotlight again after many questionable decisions have been made by the Board of Directors for the Amistad. News 8's Tina Detell has more. Diana Urban says Amistad America is so mismanaged it even spent its endowment. And that's money which should be grown, not thrown away. Endowments, your seed corn. You don't spend your endowment. And in looking at the paperwork, it appears that they sent it, spent it to go to Sierra Leone. State Representative Diana Urban wants the Amistad to get back on course. She says the state has given Amistad America $8 million in taxpayer money over the last decade. And she says it's not fulfilling its mission to teach Connecticut kids about diversity and racial harmony. The Amistad cannot do that if it's down in Puerto Rico dressed up as a pirate ship in the middle of hurricane season. The state gives the nonprofit $350,000 a year for operating costs. There's so many errors. In fact, there's, it's an appalling uh, application for funds. And frankly, you know, shame on us as the legislature for not catching on to it earlier. This week, the Amistad is missing the Connecticut Schooner Fest. Last weekend, it was the taste of Mystic right here. And planning for that is when folks realized the Amistad wouldn't be around. As we know when it's taxpayer dollars going to such organizations, it's critical to have accountability. Representative Urban wants to see the Amistad America Board of Directors replaced and Connecticut companies, which are owed money, repaid. But the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. We weren't able to leave a message for Hanifa Washington, now at the helm of Amistad America. 14 schooners coming here in the first annual Schooner Fest, so we just wish Amistad was one of them. An audit of the organization is expected to be complete in November. In the New London Newsroom at the Day, Tina Detell, News 8.